All right, um, I am sitting outside of my yearly cancer checkup appointment and being totally honest that um, this season, these couple of weeks leading up to it, even being 32 years, 33 years cancer free, um, that there is something still true about scanxiety and um, cancer for me has been all throughout my family. And instead of dreading this day, um, I'm starting or trying to look at it as a time of refocus for me in my life. And we all are busy. A lot of stuff happens throughout the year. Um, but this is for me an opportunity to where I take a little bit more time to just talk with my wife. I take a little bit more time to just, while the kids are sleeping, I'll stand at their door and God forbid if they were to wake up, I'd scare the crap out of them. But it gives me a time to really focus in on what exactly matters to me. Um, and so, yes, there's anxiety with it. There's fear of like, when I look at my kids, I'm like, what if cancer does come back? Um, but my wife constantly reminds me, my parents constantly remind me, um, scripture constantly reminds me that I was healed. I am healed from cancer. And so these, these are just checkups. These are almost like car maintenance that you have to um, just because you put your car in the shop to change the oil doesn't mean that the car is blowing up and that's how I'm trying to look at today um, that's how I'm trying to change my perspective on scanxiety um, but it scanxiety is a real thing and what scanxiety is if you've had any type of illness or any type of cancer that leading up to your checkup there's this anxiety that builds up within you and it's a real thing so if you are that person um, I'm sorry that you have to go through it. Um, I am with you. But what has helped me is I'm living my life in those moments of five more minutes. Five more minutes of like, I just want to play catch with my son. Five more minutes, I want to finish my coffee and talking with my wife. Five more minutes reading scripture. Five more minutes, you name it. And those are things that I just named that really build me up that what I have found besides reading scripture and prayer is that those are the things that really bring me back above the line, if you will. Um, it gets me back to level head. And so I just encourage you, if you are that person, take five minutes, look at it in increments of five minutes and what are those things that build you up? And if you are the support person of um, a, someone that has been diagnosed with cancer, and I'm talking to the mama bears, the papa bears, and even now that some of the baby bears that I've been able to love and serve are starting to get to the age that they understand kind of what has happened to them. If you're the um, care provider for this person, I wanna say thank you. Um, it's not easy. Um, my wife, it's not easy for her during this time frame um, because we're one unit. And so when I struggle, she struggles and vice versa. But if you are the caregiver, or if you're the mama bear or papa bear or sibling or spouse of someone that is going through scanxiety, that scanxiety is just there for you too. Um, I just encourage you to talk about it. I'm encourage you to like, to just really lean in during this time to be able to reset, to focus in what matters the most to you. Um, and so I try to look at it as a positive. I have a built in reset button that comes every single year around the same time to make me really understand and to make me focus in. Am I being the man that God's called me to be? Am I being the follower of Jesus that I'm supposed to be? Am I being the human that was designed for such a moment as this? And unfortunately or fortunately, um, I have a reset button and it comes once a year when I go get my cancer, uh, the yearly checkup. And so I appreciate you, I appreciate the caregivers, I appreciate everybody that's thought about me and my family over the last 30 some years. And we're believing in faith that I am healed and that the best is yet to come. So I will talk with you soon.